Hey guys, Kelzer here with another RPG Maker 2000 tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to cover over how to make it when you flip a switch, it'll pan over, it'll pan the screen over to what it changed. And this was a request from one of my friends on YouTube. So we'll just hop in here and we'll start up simple with a um, lever. Let me go down to these under objects. Notice the tip I recommend you always use the same type of lever and or a button when you do these types of things so people get used to the whole you know clicking that type of lever to do that type of thing if that makes sense so yep, movement type stay still push key that's all good right there so we'll make that and then we'll make something for it to activate and we'll put this put the thing that's going to change over here and we'll do I think we'll do a um a chest. I like to use these chests because this one, you know, like you would use it like to click on these would need a lever. So that's good. That that works fine. So let's get into the coding here. So for this one, the first thing you want to do is you want to choose. Um, God, I just did this. Okay. Hold on. So when it starts, you want to do where is pans pan screen. Then. Move position, wait until done, right? Um, you'd want to do it how many chips that is, so sorry, we're gonna have to count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I think I lost count, so <laughs> but okay. So nineteen pan screen over nineteen. Hit okay. Insert, then you will want to put in a um a wait. Where's where's wait? A wait for just a second. Yeah. See, cause that's that's because you want to stop there and emphasize on the fact that it opened. So then we'll put in change switch, and we'll put lever pulled for that. And it's gonna flip that switch. New page. Set that to the um lever in the other position. Key variable. Lever pulled. Okay. So then basically when you pull that, it's gonna scroll over to this box. So what you do for this is you wanna put new page over lever pulled for the variable. Then you wanna put in let's see where is it? A small weight. Let's do yeah, five seconds because we don't, or half a second. Wait, and then import another switch. So, oh, I keep losing these, man. Okay, we'll put that in screen panned. Okay. Then you want this also to be an auto start because you're not going to be over there to watch it go. So it's going to wait, change switch, new page. Screen panned. Set, and then we'll change this to an open chest. And then you want this to be auto start also. Insert. And then you want to put in another very small weight. And this is in point 0.1 of a second. So it's going to be open for a, just, just, a, just a little bit of time. So you can just show that it opened. Because you want people to recognize that that lever opened that chest. Or door. Or a panel. If you're making like a puzzle. So then we want to go back to. Where is it? Pan screen. Return position. Actually, we'll stand the so let's move it left. 19. That's assuming you've measured it correctly. Actually, we'll, yeah, we'll do return position. Doesn't matter a whole lot. And then one more switch. Yes, lots of switches. For final pan. Okay, okay. Now on this page, you want to do the switch. Final pan. And this is where you put in all your chest things. Which, let's see, for a really simple chest, um, equip, yep, let's do a potion, insert, and yeah, another switch, god, you, you, you'll get like hundreds of these things, chest, looted, just looted, new page, open, just looted, oh, make sure all these are our push key. 
because you want to auto start and it'll um, break it pretty much. So this one, yep, auto start. Okay. So let's test it. Yep, save it. Okay. So let's go. We'll flip switch. And it panned over here. Opened. Pan back. And the lever is flipped. And we should be able to go over here and get my potion. Now, I'm really sorry if this is really loud. Equipment. Well, oh well. Either way, <laughs> my, um, my final thing here must have screwed up. Well, either way. Um, yeah. But that's basically how you would do it. But let's actually, let's, let's take it up a notch. See, because you have the, you pull it. And how about as it opens, you play a little sound effect. So it's insert. Um, where would this be? Uh, I'm looking for a play. Please sound effect. And it doesn't. Well, actually. Play. God, I don't want it to change it, you know. Oh, whatever was just sound effect. Um, barrier. Okay. So then when it opens, it should play a little sound effect, like Zelda. I'm sure we've all played a Zelda game. Yep, made a sound effect. Now you might want to um, up the weight before it pans back, but you know either way. Now I'll talk to this thing a whole bunch. Turn to item. Oh, I think it's because I can only use it in battle. But hey, so that's pretty much just basically how you do it. And you can change that chest art to be a door. Excuse me, a door or panel, it, it doesn't really matter what you do, but, um, yeah, so make sure you save your project, and, you know, guys, I think that's all for this video, any questions or comments, please comment below, and I'll do my best to help you, so, yep, see you guys.